know, it's just the first one, the first one of my careers, you know. It's, I'm going to try to get it every week, you know, just try to help the team, do what I can for the team, get the win. So it's nice, but we got to stay focused on the battle. Arizona State was a team that recruited you, right? Were they your only other Pac-12 offer? Yeah, they was my only other Pac-12 offer. You know, I didn't get a chance to visit just because of the timing and all that. But, uh, they were on the list. Did you seriously consider them? Were they kind of your final three, or final four? Yeah, they were in there. Top, top five. You know, I talked to players a couple times, and uh, we just couldn't get to visit down. So, but uh, other players went down to visit. And he was just like kind of like first come first serve, so I didn't get a chance to. So. Did he say if you couldn't come to visit that the offer was dependent on that? Or? Yeah, you know, he said he had a couple, of, a couple other uh, kids coming down, so I just told him that it was a bad time and, and I was going to come there if he stood on the table. But they signed their guards early, so. Do you remember what guards were there? Just the Juco guards? Because they got a lot of Juco guards. Yeah, I know uh, Blake's, he, he went there and, and after that he signed, so they kind of already had their guards, so I just. Were you upset about that at the time? Or? No, not at all. You know, we didn't really get that uh, that relationship that I had with a coach and all that when we first started talking. And I talked to him probably a couple times a week, so there wasn't really a relationship like that there, but uh, I'll respect it. First, when did Arizona State kind of reach out to you and start talking to you last, last year? Um, right, probably right before we went to the national tournament for Juco, and then after that, it was just all in the offseason. It was you know, talking here and there. Was Oregon State kind of already on your radar at that point? Were you yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. From the beginning of the season, I was, I was talking with Doug and uh, all the old coaching staff and everybody. So, uh, same for uh, same Mary's coach Shaw uh, and coach Bennett. You got them in the first game here. How much different is it playing them again and playing them on the road? You know, it's uh, it's been very big to get a road win in Pac-12. You know, you know it's going to be difficult both games, and just you, we got to come out with the same intensity we do when we when we play here. So. Do that, I think we have a, a great chance to win. Can you say a few words about Daniel? I know he doesn't get a lot of points, but he was pretty active this this past weekend. Yeah, D Daniel does all the dirty work for us. You know, he bows down there. He makes sure he's got his back. If anything happens, you know, he's going to give somebody a cheap one here and there. He got five fouls, so I know he uses three of them pretty good. So <laughs> that's that's what we need. He's like a he's he's the pop of the team and he watches over us and he makes sure we're in line and doing. What we need. And yeah. You can score a little bit. I heard it seemed like you had a good pass to him, and somebody said finish. I don't know if it was you or someone on the bench, but he can score. Oh, and yeah, we, we know he can score. You know, we give it to him when we can, and we know he can make plays when he needs to, and he's a big presence down there on the defensive side, and we reward him on the offensive side. Do you think he's one of the more underrated parts of what you guys have been able to do the past few weeks, the fact that he's been on the court and getting those rebounds and his blocks for you guys? I don't think he's so. I, I know Underrated he, from outside? outside. <laughs> yeah, from outside, I, I believe so, you know. He really doesn't get as much credit as what he does. You know, he, he, he's a cleanup, he wraps up, and he do whatever he needs to do. So I hope everybody just keeps seeing that and he just keeps working. And he's Pops, right? He's yeah. kind of the veteran on the he's team. He's a veteran on the team. He's Pops. You know, everybody looks up to him. So that's what he is. is it, do you call him that? Yeah. Is it, okay. Yeah, Pops. Uh, you guys haven't had that much success on the road, but you did in Pullman. What was different about the game against Washington State versus your other road games? We just didn't come out with the intensity we need to, like we do when we come here, and we know we gotta we gotta deliver the first blow. And those games on the road, when we didn't, you know, we battled back, and just the outcome, it, we weren't on top. So we know now we gotta come out punch first and stay on the next from, from the tip. Yeah, Langston has said that the key to winning a road game is to making that environment seem like it's Gil, like it's a home crowd. How do you guys do that? How do you guys get pumped up to make it feel like you're at home? I think it's just the quiet, the quiet in the arena, you know. We act like we're back in Gil, and when it's quiet, we can just picture everybody in Gil and all the fans at Gil screaming and yelling for us, and I think that just that does it for us. I know you guys focus mo more on yourself than you do on other teams, but Arizona State, what are your, your first impressions on the road against them? You, I mean, you've already seen them at home. We know they, they play comfortable at home, and you know we're just going to try to do what we did here and get them out their rhythm and uh, take away a lot of things they like to do. So if we stick to the defensive scheme, I think we're going to have another chance to get another win against them. And the last time you played Arizona, obviously you guys upset them at Gill. They, they have to be seeking blood. So, I mean, what's the mentality going into that game? We, we know that that environment is going to be crazy. It's just like when they were here, it's going to be hectic and loud and everything. We know we just got to just gotta stick to our defensive schemes and take away what we did the first time and go out there and, and battle for 40 plus and win the physical and mental battle. Especially with Robbins being sideline, how important has it been uh, what, uh, what
what Jamal's been able to get you guys off the bench. Jamal has been incredible. From Jamal to Malcolm to Olaf, everybody just came in and they, we know that we're man short, so everybody has to do a little bit more something every, each night for us to be successful, and I think that's what everybody's bringing to the table. Do you think Jamal's kind of finding his niche on this team? I know last year he was a little frustrated playing time. Do you think he's happy with where he's at? Right now? Yeah, most definitely. You know, him and Olaf and Malcolm, you know, they didn't see as much before as much, and they knew coming into the season they had to bring something to the table with the minutes they were playing, so I think they're all getting comfortable with, with their minutes and how they're playing and just 